Hey look kids, you could be Ultron Prime. Here's a costume for cosplay. Not Halloween, but you know, still cosplay. For a movie that isn't out for months, and a character that's kind of evil, and you're probably too young to be seeing the movie anyway that's not out. Anyway, have fun! Hey guys, it's me Gazbot, and today is day 71 of 100 days of making comics! Pa -pa 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 pow <laughs> Yeah! So, starting low energy, moving high energy. Now we'll mellow out to middle energy. Middle high, middle high. High plus, middle plus, high minus. Anyway, so today, um, Q has gone to Utah, and that, uh, I thought I would actually end up having like more free time during the day, you know, because I wouldn't be tempted to watch extra TV shows or whatever, and out of boredom, I'd end up doing more work, uh, which is kind of true, but I realized that I had to drive her to the airport, which is an hour each way, so that was two hours of my day gone right there. Then on top of that, uh, because I went so far away, I was like, well, let me stop at some different Toys R Us's on the way home. So I made two stops at Toys R Us's that are not near my house. Didn't buy anything, uh, but you know, you never know. So uh, I ended up spending about three hours not being productive uh, at all. I got home, uh, was productive, did a lot of coloring for the Earthling book. Um, it's, I'm, I'm, instead of doing one page at a time, I remembered, because I the last time I colored a book, halfway through it I started doing two pages at a time because it ends up being quicker. It's slower in the long run because it's longer to get that first page done. But like for example where I am right now I'm working on two pages with have mostly the same characters and background so every time I need to do a skin tone or a wall color I fill it in on both of them and then I shade it on both of them etc. So the the page I'm doing on the left of the of the uh, the two pages right now is like 80% done and the one on the right is like 70% done. And I put in enough time that normally one of the pages would be done, but it's, again, it saves me time overall, but, you know, tomorrow I'll finish at least one of them up, if not both. Uh, but that was most of my work day. Uh, then I took a bike ride and got myself some Chipotle, because why not? I'm alone. I want a Chipotle, and I like riding my bike. I also listen to a lot of, uh, I do, I do Pimsleur Japanese for language. I took a couple classes and little apps and stuff, but... A very minimal, minimal knowledge, but the Pimsleur thing I like a lot. Uh, I'll put a link. There's a, somebody has a YouTube of all the lessons on YouTube, which is how I'm checking it out. I mean, I know normally it costs a lot of money or whatever, and I was gonna go to the library, and then I just looked up to see if it was online, and it is on YouTube. So, well, actually, I, I put a link below, but then, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll just put a link below. I don't feel like making one of these links. It takes me time, you guys. Every time I put a link, see I'm pointing, but there's no links, because that takes me time in editing. And it's already uh, 1.30 in the morning, so I don't want to add to this. <laughs> but uh, the Pimsleur is great because, and, and, and I don't know about linguistics. I've never really studied a language before. I was a terrible student in school. So there might be reasons why it is not a good way to learn academically or, or objectively. But being the way I am, I have a hard time sitting down and looking at a book or studying like a normal person. Uh, and even if I wanted to, I don't always have the time, but it's all auditory. Now, this won't help you with reading and writing, uh, hiragana, katakana, that kind of stuff. Uh, and I have apps on my phone for that. And I already know the two basic alphabets. I don't know the, the third one. But anyway, uh, I listen to it while I ride my bike. I listen to it while I'm driving. And it, it's like a half hour per lesson. And so I do at least one lesson a day. And then if I don't get it, I do it two or three days in a row. And then today I did, you know, like an hour and a half of it because I was driving around and I rode my bike. That has nothing to do with art. But I'm just saying, if you're interested in learning a language, you might want to check out Pimsleur, <laughs> especially if it's free. So I'm not telling you to buy anything. Um, so forgetting about that, I ate dinner, blah, 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 blah. Then I, I did some work on the Horror Ray 4, my personal comic. I did uh, just over an hour, uh, and I was watching uh, an Art Casters while I did it, um, which I will give a link to. Fine. Here's the Art Casters link, uh, so you can check that out. And it's it's just artists hanging out, talking while they work. Uh, and they do it live, and... and uh, actually, um, Peter Palmiati gave me an invite uh, at least once, uh, and, but I couldn't make it. And it's funny because like I'm not participating. It's, it was taped however long ago, but I'm working, and it just it feels like I'm in the studio with them. You know what I mean? It's just like kind of background radio chatter, like listening to talk radio, and they're saying stuff so like yeah, yeah. But but I'm not part of the conversation, obviously, because it's pre-recorded. Uh, I've also been still watching a ton of angry video game nerd uh, and. Uh, related things by James Rolfe, I think is say his name. I'll put that link down there. I'm not going to make give him another link, but um so while I was doing that I worked on the Harari 4. Did a little over an hour. Uh I got maybe more than a third 
about a third done, a third plus done on the page I was currently working on. Um, and what I did was a quick, like, to make myself get the broad strokes more correct, I had the thumbnails. I'm going to show you, uh, not a process video, but kind of what I did yesterday with the crossfade uh, time lapse, maybe. Um, and so what I did was I just did a, with a, a heavy broad, normally I work with like a 13 on 50%, like a 13 being small uh, diameter, and 50% opacity, so it's sort of like sketching, and if I go over it twice, it gets darker, and that's kind of how I do my roughs. Um, but with this, I did it like a 35, which is like very big and 100% opacity. So it's just like using a marker instead of a pencil. And so I real quick went in over the thumbnails and did the, whole, the three panels. Like this is just, okay, this is what's going to be here. And then I went in and <laughs> cleaned those up to my, be my roughs for panel two, uh, for, I'm sorry, for panel three and four. So I still need to do the cleanup rough for panel uh, five, the big one on the bottom. But I was actually pretty happy with the way both of these panels came out, and I think they both came out superior to the two I did yesterday. So, you know, I feel like most of my pages I have panels I like more than others, and uh, the hope is that eventually I will find them all acceptable and have favorites as opposed to having least favorites. Regardless, I'm going to show you that time lapse video! time-lapse video huh. so that's the time-lapse video but today is coming to an end although it's yeah it's actually tomorrow I'm going to be putting this up and I will have a cup of decaf coffee and watch a show before going to sleep that's exciting that's my exciting night although I say that like I'm an old man but it is like 1 30 in the morning so it's like I guess most people are probably asleep by now well maybe not the people that watch this but I am talking about how it's day 71, and that means... Those are alerted to our presence. <sighs> yes, Commander, but do they know there's only 29 days left? This is in range. Forward deflectors at full power. We've got to repel them for 29 more days! Red lights. 